Hey everybody, this is Quantic Gaming here and I am back with Let's Replay Crash Bash Part 13 and uh, last time that I was here I managed to get past Dream Bash with quite a bit of difficulty in the Gem Challenge and uh, today we're going to be heading into Jungle Fox. So without further ado, let's go. Now because this is Part 13, I'm kind of dreading the worst. Not that I'm superstitious or anything like that, but I kind of hope that this goes well. I hope it goes well anyway. The trophy challenge shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see what happens. Now you can see here, um, we're, we're not restricted to any movement, so we're actually free to roam about in the jungle here. And uh, pretty much all the same rules except you got missiles now from the uh, Komodo Brothers boss. So let's do this. Let's see how the uh, stupid AI are. Well, maybe they're quite smart. Oh dear, and it looks like Part 13 may be living up to its name right now, I think. And I've got to watch out for the totem poles as well, because the totem poles will move at some point down the stage. I think it's best for me to move down here and get this wonder fruit. Yes, good. Now, I'm surprised the Cortex didn't hit me with that weapon there. I ah, see, yeah, uh, the totem poles um, start moving. And, uh, oh crap. Right, good thing I stayed. No! Oh my god, Qualicon, god damn it! I was so focused on all those mines, I didn't even see Qualicong. Well, I did see Qualicong there, but I didn't see him sneak up behind me there and uh, kill me there. Ah, god damn it, Roluru. Okay, I kinda need. To see, I think I need to lay down. Oh my god. Right, okay, I was gonna say, I was. Um, I'll need to lay down more mines if I want to actually uh, get past the AI here so easily. Oh, god damn it, Cortex. Ah. Oh. Oh wow. Could Qualcomm win the trophy right here and now? Why am I not having the same luck that he's having? Maybe 13 is his lucky number. Maybe that's a little known fact about Qualcomm that we don't know, folks. 13 is his lucky number. The best thing to do, I think, is just avoid the AI as much as possible. Just keep hitting real roof with my weapons here. There we go, that's him gone. Right, lay down mine so that way they can get away from me. And I think Cortex went right into that totem pole there. Oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> well, I think that I think we've learned something today, folks. Koala Kong's uh, lucky number is 13 because he just won the trophy. Wow, who would have ever thought that? What's next? All the other um, AI... All the other um, computer players are going to end up uh, having a, a lucky day as well at number 13. And I'm going to be the only unlucky one. Oh god, I'm going to do that. I hit myself with my own weapon there. Right, good. Will the boost go on? Yes! Good! That was really close. Sorry for the for the um for the mic going about destroying there. Sorry. I'm just a little bit intense in this game. This game is really like it's it is fun don't get me wrong to a degree, but it is a pain in the backside. As you can clearly tell from all the experiences I've gone through trying to I've not even gone to the hard parts yet, again two hundred percent for this. I'm already starting to like wouldn't say enough say scream or yell, but well, Koala Kong seems to be having hard luck now, which I find quite surprising now. Maybe the tables have turned, possibly. Right, Cortex is gone. Oh my god. Get out here, there we go. Right, good. I seem to be on the roll now. See, I like how we're able to actually move about in the area, but at the same time, I kind of miss the... Uh, the restricted movements with all the boundaries and walls with the protection. Oh, really? Roo's already gone. Wait, why is Cortex just staying there? Oh my god, he's an idiot. Then again, what else is new with Cortex? Wait, come on. No one! Oh, god damn it! Oh. Why did I go for that one before when I knew that that totem pole was going to come down and get me? God damn it. Well, that's my fault for being an idiot there, for trying to get that one through. I do like the music here for this uh, stage. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's my favourite out of the um, the, the tank minigames. I still say my favourite is uh, Metal Box. Okay, Cortex and Qualicong seem to be shooting. Oh well, Cortex is gone already. 
Do you know what, Qualicom? Stay there. Oh, come on. I was I was hoping to bait him into getting uh, crushed by the tone balls. Oh, there's two mice. Yeah. I'm actually going to look he bought the line and Qualicom get himself with us. He's going to end up dead. See, like... Yeah! <laughs> That's brilliant. That's fantastic. Oh, that's amazing. I thought Kuala Kong was at least going to move out of the way of those totem poles. I guess he was too stupid to do so. I guess the tables definitely did turn. It turns out 13 was, was my lucky number that round for that trophy. And uh, Kuala Kong ended up getting the unlucky um, stick instead. So anyway, it's time for the gem challenge. Now the gem challenge, I'm expecting to be quite difficult. Yeah, defeat your opponents in 30 seconds, oh jeez. Well, the best strategy I have is using the mines as much as possible. The only unfortunate thing is I think the uh, computer players are going to end up uh, losing health not as much. Oh, Cortex is already gone. Oh, god damn it. Well, I ended up dying. Okay, fair enough. The failures are already starting to happen, folks. Then again, what else is new? Let's keep hitting the ruler with these. Good, there we go. Right, so that's one down. Just keep hitting Qualicon, come on. Go down. Oh, come on. why did you move out of the way? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Come on, Cortex. Oh, no. God damn it. If Cortex had lost more health, I could have won now on my second try, possibly. Right, lay down the mine. I was going to say lay down the mine, but they already done it, so... Yeah, I've noticed there's a bit of lag as well going on when there's four of us in the, in the field again. It's probably the PS3 issues. Oh, really? Wow, so close again. I think it could very well be possible that I might actually do this depending on my luck. As well as where I'm, I'm aiming, of course, as well. I really should stop trying to hit them with my weapons and start hitting them with mines instead. Oh, it always ends like every time time runs out, it always seems to be Cortex that seems to still be alive. Why is that? Oh, I ended up getting a bit of Wumper Fruit there. That was lucky. I actually thought I was going to get a mind drop in my head there. Oh my god, really, I'm an idiot. I was trying to set up a mind beside Cortex and I completely forgot that he had the mind set up there as well. Oh my god. That just shows you there's so much action that goes on in these games. Well, thank goodness somebody hit me there because I would have probably died instantly. Oh, I won those missiles. That's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Yep, not gonna happen. Oh, what else is new? Fail after fail after fail. The fail count's going to be over 9,000 most likely by the time this is over. Like, I'm meaning all of this, not just this game. I'm hoping it's not just this challenge. That'd be disastrous if that was the case. My right, Roller Roo's already gone. That's not surprising. Uh, Cortex is gone. No, god damn it! I was so focused on Cortex and Qualicon snuck up from behind again and got me. I need to really learn my lessons from that. Going after Cortex because he has the most health. Very good. Cortex is gone. Oh, come on. No. Come on. No, no, no. No, no. Oh. If I had stayed alive a little bit longer, I would have won that because the totem poles come down there at that last moment. I know they do. It's happened once. 
Oh my god, I can't believe that. Oh wow. Cortex and Rillaroo are already gone? Wow, I can't believe that. That was that's pretty damn amazing actually that they're already gone. Oh, come on, I need to. Oh, really? Wow. I actually hope that happens again this round where Cortex and Rillaroo both end up being gone. It's just myself and Koala Kong. You see, if only you were able to, you see, I really don't like the fact you can't really turn faster in these tanks. If only there was a, an ability to actually be able to turn your tanks a lot faster. Oh, you're f kidding me on! God damn it! Oh, why? You see, honestly, I don't know why I never really keep an eye on my own health. I always keep an eye on the, the computer's health for some reason, but never mind. Right, anyway. Right, Cortex is already gone to the zone stupidity. Right, anyway. This made things go a bit faster. And of course, Qualicon has to get himself hit to avoid his mines. Why can't those totem poles come down faster? Seriously, this would make things a lot easier if they were if they came down a lot faster. Right, good. I'm glad they got rid of that one fruit. I'm gonna lay down the mine in about here. Haha, Koala Kong's gone. That's not gonna be enough though. Yeah, didn't think it was going to be enough. Damn it. Why are they just staying there? Like, you know it's in that, right? They're just... Alright, I've won those missiles. I've won those missiles. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Oh my god. I just realised Really Rue also had missiles as well. I can't believe, I honestly didn't realise that until the very last second that he had missiles there, but I got ahead of him first, so jokes on him. Haha, <laughs> Rillaroo. Anyway, let's move on to the Crystal Challenge. Uh, the Crystal Challenge shouldn't be too bad. Sorry about that, I just had to plug in my laptop there because I was about to get a low battery there. I don't want the battery running out of my laptop. Okay. Go away. Sorry, I had to give it a bit of a notification there. And, uh, hold on. Sorry, folks. I don't know why all these notifications are popping up here when I'm recording. It's a bit annoying. Anyway, um, avoid the attacks on the totem pole. This is a crystal challenge. So this one shouldn't be too bad. As you can see, the area has changed. It looks like we're in uh, Papa Papu's village. I don't think the attacks kill you instantly, as far as I know. But they do deal a hefty amount of damage. I don't know what it is they fire out of their mouths, but I think it deals in the same amount of damage as Tiny and Koala Kong's attack. As you can clearly see when they explode, they're just like the metal um, spike ball there. That's a bit of a shame that I failed that one, because this one's actually um, quite easy, this one, but we're in Papu Papu's village, which is quite interesting. And it's quite appropriate, considering it's Jungle Fox after all. I could, I think it could very well be the fact that it's because the computer players are all turning against me. It's like a three-on-one handicap match, instead of every man for himself. Then again, they are on the evil team, aren't they? So of course it's going to be a handicap match. Oh god damn it! Well, sure I say? I was going to say three-on-one handicap match, but it's technically a four-on-one handicap match because of the totem pole. Okay, they seem to be turning on each other. Koala Kong and, uh, oh, shh. Okay, I need to keep forgetting about that phone pole. Yeah, I kind of want Koala Kong to come down here. So I can, no. Oh, fuck! Why did I aim my weapon the wrong way? A lot of these failures are due to my stupidity. 
A lot of these are not to do with the game being so hard, it's just me being stupid. Well, this one anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna fail again. I'm most likely gonna fail again. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. What else is new? What else is new? <laughs> Sorry to be pessimistic like that. Move out of the way. Yes, that's the best thing to do is just move it, uh, just duck and dodge all the time. Wow, cool and all like that. Ah, okay. There we go. Sometimes I don't like a game. Get trapped as God damn it! Oh my god. Well, it could be a lot worse this challenge. It could very well be that like the, uh, the attacks from the totem pole could very well kill you in one hit. That would be a lot worse. Imagine that happening instead of a... Uh, As you can probably tell from my channel, I've organised them. Um, it's a lot more organised and neat and tidy, so um, uh, I've been meaning to do that now for some time, but uh, but um, I think I've said to myself, you know what, um, I kind of want to get my channel reorganised and uh, make it look a lot, a lot more presentable, and it certainly seems to be a bit more presentable now with all these playlists I've got organised. So I'm glad that um, Sam uh, reminded me that. Uh, so thank you, Sam, for reminding me of that. Yeah, I kind of want those missiles. No, you're not getting them really. Oh crap, well, I've only scored them. Shit. But do you know what? I kind of glad I got hit with a totem pole there. I kind of go hit. I kind of glad I got hit with a totem pole there because if uh, Qualcomm had hit me in this house, I would have been dead, but I would have been dead either way. Kong. Honest to God, why the hell is he putting through so much hell in this? I don't know why he hit himself with his own mind as well. I'm guessing he's punishing himself, but they all seem to be punishing themselves. Why are they doing that? Well, this is uh, certainly interesting what's happening here. One of the best opportunities I had to win the crystal, and I blew it. Literally blew it. Oh my god. This is just ridiculous. Yes, I'm taking my frustrations out on Ruler Roo, even though he. Yes, yeah, well, he cost me everything, so. I need that. No! God damn you, Kong, you did not need that one for it. How dare you steal that? I needed that more than you did. This is not going according to plan at all. I thought this one would have been nice and quick, but then again, considering it's part 13, of course it wasn't going to be. Very good, Miss Alice. Very good, Roller is gone. Though. Thank goodness for that. One less threat to deal with. Very good, I'm glad Qual Kong is gone. Just need to deal with Cortex now. I kind of hope he lays down mines of his own here. Then again, he can always kill himself with his own weapon. That's, that always suits me well. Yes! Good. Oh my god. I actually thought I was going to lose that again, but I won that, thankfully. 
I was contemplating doing another mini game, but I thought with the time I've got, it's at 20 minutes exactly, and I don't want this to be an extremely long part, this one. So do you know what? I think I'm going to leave it for just now. So anyway, I'll leave that there for now. So um, that was uh, Let's Replay Crash Bash Part 13, Jungle Fox. And uh, oh, before I forget, I better save this. Do not want to forget that at all. But no, um, I kind of knew I was going to have a hard time with this one, considering it was Part 13 of the Let's Replay. And, uh, and Jungle Fox can be a bit of a pain as well. But next time I come back, I'm going to be doing to Toxic Dash. And if I have good luck with that one, I might be able to fit in Ring Ding as well. The uh, last minute game in the Warping Moon after that. Uh, depending on how much time I have, uh, I probably won't be able to face Oxide in the next part. But 15, I might be able to face Oxide, the final boss of the game. So anyway, um, thank you all very much for watching this part of Let's Replay Crash Bash Part 13, which was Jungle Fox. Uh, please feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below as well for your thoughts, and feel free to hit the subscribe button as well for more upcoming content in the future. So thank you all very much for watching, and I shall see you all again next time for when I come back to Toxic Dash for part 14 of the Let's Replay of Crash Bash. So until then, hope you all stay safe out there wherever you are, and I shall see you all again soon. Till then, goodbye.